Hi, I'm Jane Hampshire of <laughs> FarDogLake.com. And I'm Jim Pinkerton of just Washington, D.C., citizen of the District of Columbia. Um, and together, once again, we are bloggingheads.tv. Welcome to our show, Jane and Jim, both of us. Welcome to you, Jim. Good to talk with you again. I think uh, we had a technical difficulties during the Democratic Convention that prevented we, us from chatting, so we, I'm glad we, we made it today. We did, we did, we did, which, which means that any, any, any thoughts we had that turned out to be wrong uh, are now safely dead and buried um, because we can say we never thought those thoughts because now it's I'll, been two weeks later. I'll just put in a, an obligatory <laughs> complaint about uh, how we had to live during the Democratic Convention. We were like 20 miles from anything, and we were on forced marches to the Pepsi Center every day. It was like the Trail wow. of Tears. Wow, gee, and, and, and this is the bloggers. This, is, this just shows that the... the Democratic National Committee and the bloggers are still not t totally reconciled, I guess, huh? Oh, you know what? It wasn't just the bloggers. I mean, we were actually, I think we had some of the best accommodations uh, within the big tent that anybody did. But the forced march to the Pepsi Center had to do with the perimeter that extended for about mm, a mile and a half around it. And there were all these delegates, all these, you know, older people who were very dressed up that had to walk these incredible <laughs> links to the Pepsi Center in the heat and the altitude. <laughs> people dropping I mean, there was, there was no, there were no, there were no buses or golf carts or anything? or Nothing. There were oh. a couple of golf carts and people lined up for miles for them. So, and most of them just made the decision to walk. It was, it was pretty miserable, but it was better than the stormtroopers on the streets of the RNC uh, restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Having from those, the, the, from those notoriously, I wouldn't would compare right the Democratic convention favorably, but just barely. Okay. From those notoriously right-wing cities, Minneapolis and St. Paul, I see. Um, anyway, uh, so Jane, how about that Sarah Palin? What do you think? Well, I'll, I'll let you start. Uh, what do you think, Jim? <laughs> well, I think that uh, stipulating that the, the vetting process on her is, is still ongoing, that it wasn't obviously completed before she got picked, um, I think she's had a startling effect on the race and uh, supported what I've been saying, what I've been saying to my Democratic friends for months, which is if you, if you don't, to, to, up to the Obama campaign, if you don't pick Hillary Clinton, uh, you're going to make the mistake of your life, make the mistake of, the, of 2008. Uh, you're going to leave the field wide open. Um, and Obama, who obviously doesn't like Hillary, and I'm sure the feeling's mutual, uh, didn't choose her, chose a uh, uh, Joe Biden is a nice enough guy, but kind of colorless, and, and been quickly uh, marginalized in this race. And uh, and the 2,000 Democratic delegates for Hillary uh, in Denver went home disappointed. And it's pretty obvious that a lot of them plan on sitting out uh, this, rest, this race entirely uh, in hopes, I suppose, that Hillary can come back in 2012. And a fair number um, are going to vote for McCain. It's not a very good scenario for the Democrats. I'm going to disagree with you on that, and I don't think that the empirical evidence bears you out. According to uh, Rasmussen poll taken shortly after the convention, there was an 11-point switch from uh, from undecided to Obama amongst Hillary voters, or, or from uh, they people who, are, who wouldn't vote for Obama beforehand said that after the Republican convention that they would. So the women that McCain is picking up, and you're right, he is picking up women, are coming from the independent and the undecided category, not from Hillary supporters. Well, okay, but I mean, it's obvious that Hillary had, I mean, she was doing well in the polls, she's a national figure, plenty, plenty of people, even if they didn't vote for her literally in the primaries, uh, supported her, liked her, thought she had style, or, or, or they agreed with her in pantsuits or something like that. And, and now they are no longer, um, as, the poll, as the same polls show, they're no longer supporting the Democratic ticket, they're supporting the Republican ticket. I mean, I think that... No, that actually, that's not true. The question is, did you support Hillary Clinton? Would you have voted for Hillary Clinton? And before the Democratic primary, 28% of, of, of the people who said that they would have supported for Hillary Clinton said they would not support Obama. After the election, there was an 11-point swing in that. So, actually, those voters are moving towards... So, are you, saying it's now, are you saying it's now 17 as opposed to 28? Huh? Are you saying it's now seven? You said eleven point swing. What define eleven yes. points as in as in from twenty eight to seventeen? Yes. Okay. Well, seventeen is still a big number. That's one in six. That's a, and that, that's Seven, enough. That's that's that's, that's still Pennsylvania a big number, but and Michigan and Ohio they, they right didn't, there. Huh? That, that, they so haven't that, changed you could, you their could, opinion. Well, the, it, Sarah Palin didn't make them change their opinion. They, they, they they, have, their opinion Sarah Palin has stalled. I mean, not. I mean, look. There's, look. Let's get a grip here, folks. The McCain went from being three or four or five points down to two or three points ahead. Something big happened here. Now you can, we, we can we can 
crunch the numbers and try to figure out where all those people came from. But it's pretty clear to me. As I, I think I said to you in our previous blogging heads thing, uh, the Mark Penn playbook of marginalizing, marginalizing Obama as some sort of uh, left-wing uh, goofball uh, didn't work inside the Democratic primary. Uh, but it does seem to be working inside the United States of America. The there's the no national electorate. Be, well, I yes, there is. I think people are excited the, the, the about electorate Sarah Palin, the, but I don't think that what you're that you're that you're that you're trying to characterize this as being responsible for uh, you know, Obama being a left wing kook has any evidence to back it up. Well, except that it's what the it's what the McCain campaign is saying. And it seems to be resonating with the voters, and that's why McCain has gone from being from behind to being ahead. I mean, this is this is not a small argument. Nobody we should, we should not, cares we should, we should, about we should, John McCain. We, it's I'm all sorry? about Sarah Palin right now. She's the she, he's hiding behind her skirts. He's not stepping out there in front. He's afraid to show up in public without her because he can't draw flies. This Fine. is not because John McCain is running a fabulous campaign against Barack Obama. It's because he drags Sarah Palin in front of him do, as a human Do you shield. think that Obama would have been better advised to pick Hillary as his vice president, vice presidential choice? I think 2020 hindsight, there are people who would argue that that was the case, and I think okay. that might be one of them. But right. uh, who knew the effect that Sarah Palin was going to have on the race? I think even Joe Biden said that Hillary might have been a better candidate for him. You know, right, it's she like, really it's didn't like, move the numbers, it's, but, it's John like, Mc, but I think it's telling that John McCain had to have yeah. a, a, a woman uh, come in and save his campaign. Okay, maybe it is telling, but I don't think the McCain people care. I mean, I mean, I think this is. I mean, I can now. I now start to see. I mean, oh, I don't think they great, care anything either. I, I think they will do anything to, to win. Right. And, and if it meant dra dragging somebody in who isn't very well versed in foreign affairs, who isn't prepared to take over the presidency, they don't care. So long as John McCain can get the presidency, they really don't care what they do to the country. Well, uh, I, I think we're now seeing the emergence of the the, the, ne the next uh, left wing narrative on why Obama lost. Uh, there's, there's a great YouTube video you, you've probably seen it, uh, where the, the the Obama campaign staff uh, lip syncs the song from the musical Les Misérables. Uh, this, I think it's the song, the song title is like One Day More. And they, they, it's, it's very clever, very moving, very well done, like like the Broadway show originally. And of course, the the, the punchline to the to the video is that in in the in the it, it's the day before the election is where it's set, November third, two thousand eight. Uh, mm -hmm. But of course, in the musical, all, all these idealistic young students uh, all get slaughtered uh, at, at the Paris Commune in eighteen seventy one. Uh, uh, so. I, I just, I, I mean, in other words, we can talk about, uh, uh, you know, uh, the evils of John McCain if you want, but the point is, it's just striking to me that the Obama, that the, the, the Democrats are doing it again. They ran somebody way to the left of the country, and they're, 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 they, they, they're no, losing actually, as a consequence. No, he's not way to the left of the country. The he country right now thinks that we should be out of Iraq. The country agrees with the women's right to choose. The country is with the Democrats on the economy. The country is with the, with, with the Democrats on just about everything. Witness uh, the wholesale uh, uh, advantage that the Democrats have you know, across the country just on ID alone. So no, the, the, it does. It, the, well, that, okay. That's not I mean, the first, first of all, Obama is, according to the National Journal, which is a pretty well-known publication. A very right-wing publication. And he he yes. is. He, uh, oh, I see. It's very right-wing. Uh, okay, he is the most liberal senator. So that's Obama no, actually, relative he's to not. his. That was, well, okay, but, I mean, I'm saying, that was a bad poll taken. That was a bad. Uh, uh, evaluation taken, which doesn't discount, doesn't discount the votes that Obama okay. didn't take because he wasn't and, there. Obama and, and ranks a, fairly about halfway about amongst Democratic senators. He's not that liberal, Jim. Uh, I wish he was, but he isn't. To the, according to the American Conservative Union, name one his, position that he has his, that is outside. His, that, his, name his one position that he has that is way outside where the American public is. Uh, driver's licenses for illegal aliens. Uh, that's it? That's all you got? Uh, that I mean, you, you, said name, you, said, you, said, you, you said name one. I did. Uh, name another. This does okay, not uh, put him outside where the American people are I, I, in the majority I, 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 No, I think, look, look, driver's no, licenses for illegal aliens. No, licenses fall way down the list of where the American people care about. They care about the economy. They okay. care about health care. They care about the war. They care about where their paychecks are coming from. On none of these things is Barack Obama outside where the American okay. people are. John well, McCain, however, is. 
He is an extremist, conservative, bellicose whack job who wants to be in Iraq for a hundred years. And that's just the truth. And that is way outside where the American people are on a major issue that they care about. And you cannot name one single issue that puts Barack Obama in that same category. Well, I, I think that uh, his record, of course, is so brief that it would, it would be, it'd be hard to know. Wait but a minute, you just said me, he was who, way outside where the American public is. I, I said, so then, come on, I, let's I have cited it. the National Journal saying he is the most liberal senator. Okay, I cited the American Conservative Why? Union, which, on, which Why? I'm going to finish. Look, on, on a scale, Why? American Conservative Union, ACU.org, on a 1 to 100 scale, who doesn't uh, have any action? You're talking one, about abstract metrics, okay, and yet no, you're making a claim that he's outside where the American public is. I, I'm, but you haven't said anything except for a driver's license, which the American public, quite frankly, in this election just does not care. It just, then it just doesn't even care. So no, John McCain is an extremist. He is an extremist. He wants to stay in Iraq forever. He has bad plans on everything that the American public cares about. He is way outside where they are. That's where the extremist is. The, and, and right now, he's got a convention pounce that he's getting from the fact that he nominated a woman whose skirts he is hiding behind. And that is why he's seeing a bounce in the polls, not because he is anywhere near what the American period is. So, so, why is, so, so I understand it. Why is Obama losing? Why was Obama behind even before um, uh, he, uh, McCain picked Palin? He's not behind by, by any metric. The, he, he, he is. The I mean, I mean, I mean, today has him ahead by three points. Where is he behind? He's behind in the, the real clear politics average of, of eight or ten polls. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, look, Jamie, I mean, we're in an area here of sort of just like reality has to have has to have some utility here. The fact remains that the American people have heard these arguments, and they are, and I think the most telling example where the the, 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 the forces of the right have completely shifted the agenda is on uh, energy, energy production. Uh, uh, I don't think the American people had any idea that there were trillions and trillions of dollars worth of oil offshore in, in the East Coast and the West Coast that weren't being drilled, not because it wasn't there, but it wasn't being drilled because the politicians wouldn't let it. And then when Newt Gingrich back in May started talking about drill here, drill now, pay less, it's, and then Boone Pickens and a couple others have sort of jumped in the same argument, it's transformed the debate. And, by, and by the way, I point out that the, the in this generic... Whole, in this whole, this, whole, this whole thing about uh, let's drill more, it's going to break oil prices down, is that what you believe? I, I, it's already happened. Really? Price $5 price a gallon price 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 gas? Price that really has dropped price. it down, hasn't it? It's gone from $145 a barrel to, 90, to below 100 in the last three months, four months, five months. Uh, and that's because we're drilling more? No, it's because the spec, because the <laughs> prospect of... This is gas prices let, for let me, let me finish. it even happen. What are you talking let, about? Let me finish the sentence. The, the, the prospect of American energy production expanding has broken the back. So it's of the, psychological. Uh, it's right. That's, specul that's what the speculators are. Speculators are psychological. They now so see that America will produce. Because it will psychologically help our oil No, production. No, we drill more because we can now see streams and streams and streams of American oil and Alaska oil coming into the market and depressing the price. That's just that's just the way economics works. For Americans, and, right? And, 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 well, if we wanted to, it's up to us. It's our oil. Uh, uh, it is. And, and, and why don't we want this, to? This, this, this is an area where why, why don't we want to? I'm just curious. I, I'm because pardon? why don't we want to? Because what's happening is the oil companies are not supporting legislation that would force us to keep the oil here. The, all the legislation that's up allows us to allows the oil companies to export it to other countries in the world. So all this stuff about how, oh, we should drill more so we can keep the oil here and we can lower our gas prices is a crock. This is just No, it's not, it's not a crock. We could, we, could, we could pass a law. If the Democrats are smart. They'd say we're going to pass a law that opens up offshore oil drilling, and of course the oil has to be consumed here. That would be easy. Yeah, using, but only that's not oil. what the oh, oh, that's what not, not what Newton, the people who are pushing this legislation, oh, they, 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 they were they doing it as tools for the oil company. It was really funny at the Republican National Convention, seeing all those sort of paunchy white men who looked like Karl Rove shouting "Drill, baby, drill!" like they weren't walking advertisements for the oil companies. This has nothing to do with bringing down oil oil consumption or controlling our oil consumption or getting us off a diet of Middle East oil. This is all so the oil companies can make more money and ship our oil around the world to other countries and make well, as much money as possible. Once again, Jane, you're, in, you're, you're up against the hard rocks of American public opinion. Now, I, I, uh, I'm, But I'm, the I'm fact sure that, is that that is what they're doing, Jim. It, it is the not, hard I, rock of American public opinion also says that Barack Obama is well within 
where they believe that the country ought to be going, and John McCain is well outside of it. And that doesn't I, I, seem I, to have penetrated this no, conversation. I, I, I don't sides. understand why it is that McCain's ahead in the polls and you keep saying that. Is it just repetition that's going to make the difference now? Do you understand the whole notion of a convention bounce, Jim? I, I understand that Palin, McCain and Palin have come in and said three big things. They've said, one, we're not going to lose in Iraq. We're going to win. Number two, we're going to drill more oil. And number three, we're going to have an energetic, shake em up reform campaign in Washington. Now, Obama had a clear position on the other side on all three of those, and McCain... No, and actually, he doesn't. He's called for more drilling. I'm not crazy about it, but he, 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 he's, he He's only under pressure. Look, the, I think the big difference between... I've been thinking about this. The big difference between McCain and Obama as president is that McCain, as a President Obama would be the pet of the Democratic majorities in Congress. And McCain would go to war with, frankly, both parties in Congress from day one. It would be... It's a much different dynamic. And I think the American McCain is would... controlled by the lobbyists yes. who run his campaign. McCain right now, the biggest crisis facing us today, I think, is the collapse of our financial institutions and Wall Street. And this is a serious problem. It's caused by deregulation that was put through by Phil Graham when he was head of the Senate Banking Committee, and, and, uh, which deregulated uh, many of the instruments that are, on, that, are happen that are problematic today. And John McCain himself called for the Keating Five. Remember, not to, was one of the Keating Five who called for them not to be Keating not to be investigated, and wound up costing the government three billion dollars in bailout when his wife had in, money invested with Keating. I mean, this is the man that you trust to come in and and reform anything. He's one I, of the biggest crooks in the Senate. I didn't say I trusted him. I said the American people are, are obviously fine and preferable. And look, let's go. Let's talk about Phil Graham a little bit. No, no, the, the, they the, don't. The, it depends on the polls. The, Most polls have Barack Obama ahead. No, they don't. <laughs> yes, they <laughs> I mean, do. I mean, I mean, dear, dear bloggingheads.tvers, go to Real Clear Politics, look at their average, and see what you see. And one Real of us, Jim Paul, Jim, everybody Jim, takes. Do you under you do understand that these things are averaged in different ways, Jim? And that anybody can come up with different totals for these. Go to Daily Coast today, right now. The most recent poll, depending on whether you know how you're averaging this in, shows that shows the polling moving in the direction of Barack Obama. And I, I saw, I saw, I saw yesterday that that that, uh, uh, that McCain is ahead in is, is tied in Pennsylvania. Um, and ahead in Colorado. And, and, and amazingly enough, only five points down in, in New York. Uh, 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 so, I mean, again, we, 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 will, we will see uh, uh, something here. But let's just talk about the deregulation. This is, this is sort of an interesting point. Uh, uh, what you're mostly referring to, I think, is in terms of Phil Graham and deregulation was the repeal of the Glass-Steagall Act, which is 1999, okay? which doesn't seem to explain very well why long-term long capital failed in 1998 and Drexel Burnham Lambert uh, failed in 1990, and, and Penn Square Bank failed in 1982, and on and on and on into the past. I mean, look. I mean, obviously we're in a we're in a hellacious financial crisis now, um, and it is my earnest hope uh, that all the people who, who speculated and invested big money in all these companies lose lose all their money uh, to, ser to serve them right. But I got to tell you, in terms of who seems more impatient with the status quo, and this is just an interesting question of optics. Uh, it was seen to me that McCain and Palin are much more uh, determined to change the status quo than Obama and Biden. Just look at look look at them. Yeah, Sarah Palin had never found a, a someone she wouldn't fire for personal reasons or uh, friends from kindergarten she wouldn't give expensive jobs to. I don't know that that's changed. She's also blocking the investigation into all of this corruption as well, which puts her mm, George Bush with a skirt, as far as I can tell. But in terms right. of Phil Graham, uh, David Corn writes in uh, Mother Jones today eight years ago. Get Graham, then a Republican senator, uh, chairing the Senate Banking Committee, slipped a 626-page bill into a gargantuan must-pass spending measure. Graham's legislation, written with the help of the financial industry lobbyists, essentially removed newfangled financial products called swaps from any regulation. Now, swaps are evidently what is causing so many problems with Lehman right, Lehman's right now, right? Right. I guess. I mean, again, I mean, again you're, you're talking, but you're, you're not explaining why financial crises and panics and crashes occurred before the evil Phil Graham got in the mix. Got in the mix here. Well, nobody is going to say that Phil Graham is responsible for every crash and every problem that ever okay. happened in the world, okay. but he certainly had a big hand in what the problem is today. What's but more, the, but, he called America a nation of whiners. I don't think Americans uh, see that as uh, particularly optimistic or, or characteristic of what's going on right now. 
And furthermore, Phil Graham is supposed to be banished from the John McCain campaign, but he was at a meeting of, of uh, McCain advisors a month ago in Aspen that included Rick Davis and Charlie Black and Steve Schmidt. So he's not gone. And most people think that if McCain was in, to win the presidency, that he would become Secretary of the Treasury. So uh, he never, he more never corruption. Got, he, I don't he, know he, what that. I don't know what kind of reform that is, but I think it's in the wrong direction. He'd never get confirmed by the Senate. Uh, One would um, hope not, but uh, right. so, that so is, don't, don't worry McCain about that. is looking toward for his in, for his economic advice. So, Jane, just to, just to summarize the situation here, you think that the reason that McCain has surged in the polls is because Palin? I has don't think he has surged in the polls. I think he and Barack Obama are in a very <laughs> tight race, and I think most people would agree with that. I mean, <laughs> I mean, he, he's. He's ahead in Nevada. He's, I mean, I mean, I mean, McCain. I mean, it's, it's, it is a, it is. There are fifty states. Empir- I'm sure you empirically, I, I, forgot, I, I did not. I had no idea when we sat down today that I would need to have a, a month's worth of polling data in front of me just to refer to state by state polls showing well, a month's that, worth that polling at a, at a data minute, is going to give at, at, you pre Democratic convention polling data. During the Democratic convention polling data, during the Republican convention polling data, and post-Republican convention polling data, all of which is going to be very different and subject okay. to very different this, vagaries. This, today it's is not now all s- one, Jim. Polling is s- not an exact science, and it also has a, 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 you know, a, a, a lot of variables depending on who's conducting the polling. I think Fair most enough. people agree that Barack Obama and John, John McCain are involved in a very tight race, and John McCain has not walked away with this. He got some momentum coming off the Republican convention. It's called the, a convention bounce. The, the he Republican got something convention from adding was, Sarah Palin to the ticket. But was, it, it is reality challenge to say that he is sitting there whipping Barack Obama these the, the days. The Republican He's convention was 12 days ago. That, that we're, we're, this is a pretty long. I mean, the, the, the Obama bounce seemed to have lasted about 12 hours. And the McCain balance seems to be lasting about because 12 days. For, because McCain announced his, uh, nomin- his nomination of Sarah Palin the day after the Democratic convention ended, and then the Republican convention started. That just, so, so, that, 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 so, that, that's just math, Jim. It's not some big mystery, and it doesn't, no, it's not all equal. It doesn't mean that Barack Obama didn't have one and John McCain did. So we agree that the polls have changed. And we kind of agree that, that Hillary Clinton would have been a better choice uh, uh, for, for Obama than, than Biden. Well, I, don't, so think, you, I so don't think John McCain would have picked Sarah Palin skirts to hide behind had Hillary Clinton been on the ticket. I think that I, that's I agree, true. I, I agree and I think that. that his balance is due to Sarah Palin and not because anything he represents as a candidate. He is old, tired, bellicose, feeble, and corrupt. Okay, so what do you think, what do you think Palin brings to the ticket? I think she's like the American Idol candidate. I think she's captured the sort of People magazine uh, fascination. When you give her her personal drama, she's pretty. I don't know that any of these things qualify her to be a heartbeat away from uh, the button when John McCain is a little old and has cancer. I think that that makes a lot of people nervous to think about. So where's, what, where do the rise in the polls come from? Just the people just saying it's a s- spectacle? I don't think that that's. I don't think that one has anything to do with another. I think that the rise in the polls can come from many different reasons, not just because you decide that this happens to be why. Well, okay, I, that's what I, but I say it, since we're here to bring punditry to. You know, I, I, I've already I thought, answered I, 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 this question several times during this blogging heads, Jim. I think that they came because people are interested in her. I think that she's a fresh face. I think she's pretty. I think that she revitalizes the McCain campaign, which was old and tired and 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 uh, you know been didn't have any fresh ideas and nobody was really interested in. But yeah, she is the vice presidential candidate though, and I don't think that qualifies her to be president of the United States just because she gives John McCain a facelift. So you give no credence to the issues of nationalism, energy independence, and shake things up in Washington. None of those mean anything to you in terms of the McCain Balin campaign. I don't know how you draw that conclusion. Okay. Uh, is McCain a nationalist um, war hero? There is no polling, there's no evidence whatsoever to show that this surge has anything to do with John McCain's positions on anything. It isn't uh, like somebody, he just suddenly struck a nerve and everybody goes, oh yes, we want to go to war with Iran. That would be great. Let's do that. I, I think that, I mean, okay, but. but it would seem to me that it's been a pretty steady pattern in American history that during wartime, uh, war, war heroes uh, get elected to the presidency, whether it's Andrew Jackson or William Henry Harrison or Ulysses S. Grant or Dwight Eisenhower. Isn't that a pretty steady pattern? 
John, nobody cared about it, John McCain, until Sarah Palin showed up. The, whatever whatever rise is happening is tied to her to her appearance on the ticket. It so has nothing how, to do he, he, with he anything get, that he, he did in any war. He did get the nomination. Uh, against uh, the wishes of almost anybody. It was sort of like the booby prize. Nobody really wanted the Republican nomination this year. Oh, I don't know. I worked for Mike Huckabee. He wanted it, and Rudy Giuliani wanted it, and Mitt Romney spent $100 million to get it. Uh, they wanted it pretty badly. I mean, I, I think. I mean, I, I think. I mean, my my analysis of what we're talking about here is the left is still in denial about the dynamics of American politics, and I they think they, it's they, the they, right they, they, they 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 replace. They are not listening to the fact that America wants out of it, the war in Iran. They're not listening to the fact that most Americans think that a woman needs the right to choose. They're not listening to the fact that Americans think that there's a health care crisis that needs addressing. They're not listening to the fact that Americans think that we need to reduce our oil independence and not just by drilling whatever few drops are left you know, off the shore. And, and, and they re- I'm they replace, sorry, but that's just where Americans are. Just let's rip more people with the- off more often and have more wars just does not resonate with the American people. Well, then why the Republicans won seven of the last ten presidents? I would agree with you right there. That is what the Republicans represent, absolutely. I think Sarah Palin's got a pretty face, and her face is on the cover of People magazine right now. Okay. I, I think that the left prefers to shout down its opponents than to have a discussion as to why these things are happening. And I think you're well, kind I think of proof of that. you've got no points, Jim, that will hold up I, I, this analysis. I, 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 I nobody cared. Nobody's, su- nobody's supporting John McCain because uh, they think going to see, war with Iran is a good idea. Look, first of all, in their worst days, the Republicans still have a guaranteed 40% of the vote. I mean, no Republican nominee has gotten less than you know, 38% of the vote since 1912. Okay, So some, something's going on with two-fifths of the American people automatically, no matter what, in year in, year out. Uh, I just saw a poll in the Siena poll in New York State uh, has uh, McCain defeating Obama among Jewish New Yorkers, 54-32. Now, does that mean anything? Is that significant in any way? McCain beats Obama by 22 points in New York State. Let's see. How do you feel about the fact that Sarah Palin's negatives, her popularity, was really, really high at the Republican convention? She was a fresh face. Everybody liked her. And every, ever since then, her negatives have been crawling up steadily. How long do you think this is going to last? It, 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 look, look, she's clearly a polarizing figure. Uh, uh, my hunch, As people though, find it, out more and more about her, any advantage she gives John McCain okay. may uh, begin to erode. Okay, as long as, okay. Uh, I, I still didn't hear an answer to my, a reaction of any kind to my point about the Siena poll among Jews in New York. 22 points, McCain ahead. Does that sign, signify a shift of any kind? I'm not sure what you're saying, Jim. Well, I'm, I'm asking if, if, if one of the most reliably Democratic groups in the country is now shifting over to the Republicans. Does that mean anything? Uh, I, I, I don't think that you've given me any evidence that it's statistically I, I, significant this, this, in terms of where this, the country is going. The no. Siena poll, uh, the poll in New York State. I'm like, uh, you know, I mean, it's, it's in the New York Daily News yesterday. I'm not I mean, saying I, the I, poll's I, not you know, reliable. I don't know what okay. its implications are. You have a tendency to draw, extrapolate too big of, uh, 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 from very small amounts of data, really sweeping conclusions. Uh, well, no, my, my, actually, my, sweep, my strong, small amounts of data are the history of the 50, 50 plus presidential elections we've had in this country, which tend to show that parties associated with the military win in wartime. And I rattled off five or six examples of war hero presidents. And it's not just Republicans. I mean, John F. Kennedy And I said one. that before Sarah Palin showed up, that was not convincing argument to the American it, people. So I'm it, not it, sure that's it, an explanation it, it, it was for why good this enough. is happening. Look, McC- I think McCain, that's a very legitimate point. Okay. McCain was at 44 or give or take, you know, before he picked Palin, and now he's at 48. So by that reckoning, over 90% of McCain's strength came from McCain and being a Republican, not Palin. So Palin was frosting on the cake. Uh, but you yourself said that, that, that the Republican, 40% of Republicans will vote for the Republicans right. even if they're cold. But the point is, but, but, so but McCain, I don't know that McCain, this is all John McCain's strength. McCain, it's, McCain, McCain, it's, not, it's, it's, it's not, but McCain got nominated by these people, so, so it speaks to them. So in other words, I'm, I'm saying that what, what, I, what I hear, what I see out of this election is yet another election where the left, 
the Democrats, uh, uh, not, the same, not the same as the left, but the Democrats run a leftist candidate who can't win. Uh, they, 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 well, what the, the, I see is that John McCain couldn't get the base of the party to turn out. The turnout models among Republicans have increased 5% after Sarah Palin came in. She is an extremist whack job who you know, is anti-abortion, anti-choice. Anti she's, you know, she's, she's a total fundamentalist. She's, and it just shows that, once again, the Republican Party is still held hostage to the extremists in their own party. Okay, and, 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 and yet they're winning. And so, I, I mean, what? No, if, they're if, not humor, it's humor a me, race. humor me for a second. No one's calling this for McCain now, except you. I, no, I they're am, not I am, I am, I am. Humor me for a second. If if Obama loses, should the Democrats draw any conclusions about the future direction of the party, uh, looking ahead to the next election? If McCain loses, should the Republicans draw any conclusions about the future of the party? Well, I think they, the, the pressure is more on the loser than the winner. Uh, obviously, look, look, I think I'm asking, McCain, well, yeah, that, 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 the question is predicated on if the, if the, Demo if the Republicans lose. So no, no my, my question was, my, my, what my, do they my, change? My, okay, well, if, the Republicans, if the Republicans lose, I think that, that there will be a, a, uh, a major struggle inside the Republican Party as to uh, how, how to be you know, on, on a lot of issues. Now, there's no question. Um, but I think that if the Democrats lose, what, I, what I'm hearing from you uh, is that the Democrats won't change a thing because they'll think that they got defeated by a bunch of demagogues and skirts and that they're, then therefore pout, 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 they'll just go home and, and wait again to nominate somebody like Dukakis or Kerry or Obama so they can lose again. It strikes me as kind well, of a bad pattern. Well, you premised on the fact that you think that Obama is a far less left-wing candidate, and he's just not. Maybe I, from where you stand, he, he, but, he you comes, know, he it's comes right to, out anybody of... Anybody to the left of the John Birch society in, 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 would come Inner from, city, you know, inner city. a left-wing wackout. He, he Barack out. Obama is in the center of the country on every single major position. It just it, is. It, it, well, it used to say that, but I, I'm the one who's got the evidence and you don't. No, no. You haven't been able to prove anything. You haven't been able to provide anything I, 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 but a driver's I, I, license I, 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 where you I, say I, I, he's we'll, not on the mainstream. We'll, 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 he holds we'll, the majority okay. opinion right. on what to do about the war. John McCain is an extremist about the war. He is with the majority of the country about what to do on health care. John McCain okay. doesn't want to address it except to tax people's in, in health care benefits as income. Okay. Right. Nobody Jane, in this Jane, country I think, I think that we're, right. we're sort of reached a kind of a... A collision point. No, because I'm proving my um, point. You're wrong, No, no. Jim. What, what You're we're going to do is, wrong. is, is Barack is, Obama is in the center of the country with every major position. John McCain doesn't believe in a woman's right to choose. Seventy percent of Americans think that they should. John McCain wants to stay in war, in war with Iraq for a hundred years. Uh, Seventy percent of Americans want to get out. John McCain doesn't want to address health care. Barack Obama does. Americans overwhelmingly believe that health care needs reform. John McCain, and these are the issues that consistently poll at the top, uh, the, the things that Americans care about. Barack Obama represents where the country wants to go. So you yeah. can't Jane, say now I mean, John I mean, McCain is okay. where the country wants to be and Barack Obama is a far left. It's, it's just I, not true. I'm going to give you the last word. Uh, we'll put up the links for the National Journal article and the ACU ratings as to where Obama stands uh, in the judgment of No, because that, all that proves is it's, uh, there's one crappy no. poll that, um, that came out with a bad result. It doesn't prove anything. Okay, well, facts are facts, Jim. John, uh, John McCain is a far-right extremist, and Barack Obama is in the center of every major issue that the country cares about. Uh, and that is just the truth. Okay, well, we'll, we'll let the blogging heads audience decide. Jane? Nice talking to you.